Hi everyone and welcome back to the Worm Whisperer channel. Today I've got some new training for you. I'm getting a lot of questions from people asking about how do you tell when your worm castings are finished. So I'm going to take you on a journey to show you what unfinished worm castings look like, partially finished worm castings look like, and then completely finished worm castings and are ready to harvest look like. So I hope this video is helpful and entertaining. If it is, I hope you guys will give me a like and subscribe and let's get into the video. Okay, so the first bin we have here is a lot of cardboard and feed. So as you can see, pretty much this is not a finished car. This is just cardboard. It's not finished worm castings. There's still a lot of a lot of cardboard in here, a lot of food. So the worms are just starting to break this down some. So we can find some worms in here. So we see they've got some some old apples that are breaking down in here. So the worms are still breaking this down. This stuff is not ready to be harvested yet. This is probably a good month, month and a half away from harvest. And while these, they're eating this food over this, the cardboard's going to be in here. Once they eat a lot of this food over here, if they need to, they will eat a lot of the cardboard over here as well. And they'll turn this into worm castings. Okay, so here's our next bin. So you can see this one still has a little bit of cardboard and such in it. And it still has a little bit of peelings in it from the apples. But as you can see, it's getting a lot darker. The worms are in here breaking this down. It's getting a lot darker in here. And you can see that there's a lot more worm castings in this one than there was in the other one. There's a cocoon right there. So that's like a baby worm. So if you can look right here, you can see that they're getting a lot darker. And there's still a little bit of cardboard mixed in here. And there's still a little bit of food. But this bin here is the second one down on the tower and it's getting pretty close to being broken down enough to use but there's still some cardboard and stuff. So I would say another couple of weeks and this one here should be ready to, to harvest. And you can see that the worm castings are getting a lot, a lot more broken down. The worms are breaking them down a lot more than the previous bin that had a lot more cardboard in it and that one's just getting started. Okay, so this is the next bin, and as you can see, this one's broken down a lot more than the other ones. So you can see here, we've got a lot of really good castings, and these are essentially ready to use right here. So once the worms get removed out of here, these are nice and dark, and they'll be ready to use in your plants. So I could use these right now if I wanted to. They're ready to go. Once I see some more of the worms moving out, as you can see here, there's still some... These are just apple peelings that I put in there. The worms ate all the, the apple off them, but there's still the peelings in there. So those are one of the things I was just feeding them on top, but they're pretty much broken down and you can use them like that. I can just pick that out if I wanted to. But overall, like if you look down underneath here, you can see that they're very nice and dark and they're completely broken down and a few seeds and such that you're going to get in there. But these are essentially what worm castings that are completely ready to use in your garden would look like. Okay, so that'll wrap up this video. I want to thank you for joining me. I hope that was a nice little quick tutorial about how worm castings work and what they start as and then what they end up as and you can get an idea of how they should be when they get harvested. And if anybody has any questions or wants to give me some ideas in the comments, uh, feel free to do so. And if you like this video, I hope that you'll uh, support the channel by giving me a like and a subscription. And I really thank you for joining me. Have a great day, everybody.